In every ocean in the world lives the great apex predator, the orca, also known as the killer whale. Though they are known as killer whales, they are actually really big black and white dolphins. Orcas have managed to thrive in every ocean with the use of their intelligence, creativity, and the ability to pass on these adaptations to the next generation, what we could call culture. These orcas are known as the Southern Resident Orcas. They inhabit the ocean off the coast of British Columbia. They are a chatty group of orcas with over 20 distinct recorded calls. These calls vary from pod to pod, with closely related pods having differences equivalent to accents, to more distantly related pods having the differences equivalent to separate languages. Residents are a strictly fish-eating culture, not just any fish. They eat almost nothing but salmon, making this salmon migration the feast of the year. A pod of white-sided dolphins comes in to pester the orcas like a gang of annoying teenagers. What, really? The orcas are going to let the dolphins do that to them? Aren't they like five times their size? <laughs> Bitches. Then, suddenly, both the orcas and the dolphins disappear. All of the animals on the shore are on, on edge. Enter the transient killer whales. These aren't the type to get punked around by dolphins. Unlike their soft, fish-eating cousins, they eat sea lions and dolphins. Wait, isn't that sort of like cannibalism? Also unlike their chatty cousins, they are more like the strong silent type, having around six recorded calls. But that is enough to teach each other how to storm the beach and hunt sea lions. Whoa, you see that? This technique is not learned overnight. It is perfected through practice. These orcas have added their own twist to the strategy by coming in two at a time. In the Arctic, transient orcas develop different techniques to hunt its prey, like this cute little seal. Yeah, nature's kind of cool. This strategy has been given dialogue for better human understanding. I, I found the seal. You see it? Yep, I see it. You see it too? Yeah, I see it. Is it still there? Yep, still there. I see it. Alright, do you see it? Yep, I see it. I see it. There it is. Is it still there? Yep, there it is. Right where we left it. Okay then, so should we think of a game plan? Alright, let's go. Huddle up. On the count of three. One, two, three. And... We got it. Oh. Let's see that again. Nice. This next pod breaks the orca rules altogether. Genetically and culturally distinct from both transient and resident orcas. The LA pod eat both sea lions and, get this, they eat sharks. They are distinguishable by their shorter and sharper fins compared to the other orca types and scars that they have received from battling frickin' sharks. They have a special strategy for hunting sharks. They flip them upside down, inducing a condition known as tom tonic immobility, then wait for it to drown and eat it. So, if you ever wondered who would win in a fight between an orca and a great white shark, stop wondering. An orca wins easily. Killer whales have adapted to oceans all over the world through the use of culture passed down through generations with a complexity that rivals that of primates, including ourselves.